What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, according to this new reports that have come out, and it's circulating, and it's stating that well-renowned reporter, journalist, Dan Raphael, is reporting that a three-fight deal is being offered to undefeated three-division world champion, five-time world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely acknowledged as one of the faces, if not the face of the sport of boxing, and Javante Tank Davis, who is 29 wins, no loss, no draw, 27 big wins by way of knockout. He is 29 years of age, five foot five with a 67 inch arm reach, an explosive southpaw that's durable and a hard hitter with a high ring IQ. So according to Dan Raphael, according to these reports that are saying that Dan Raphael reported this, right? <clears throat> because I don't see Dan Raphael reporting this at all, right? Um, but according to this report, they're saying that Dan Raphael is reporting that Matchroom, Matchroom CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn has offered a three-fight deal to Javante Tank Davis. Now, we know Javante Tank Davis has been in conversations and talks uh, over the past few days with British welterweight superstar title contender, the son of a legend, Nigel Benn, that being Conor Ben, right? Conor Ben is undefeated, 23 wins, no loss, no draw, 14 wins by way of knockout. He is 27 years of age, five foot eight with a 70 inch arm reach. It completely shocking and it came out of nowhere. Now, Conor Ben has been suspended in the United Kingdom because he tested positive for performance enhancers. So he's on his quote unquote American tour, but it's not, again, I can't reiterate this enough. It's not voluntary, uh, it's forced. So his last two fights have been at 150 in the United States, a catchweight at 150 or above in the United States. He was scheduled to fight another son of a legend, Chris Eubanks Jr., which is his father's, Nigel Benz, uh rivalry, biggest rival and uh, nemesis in Chris Eubanks Sr. when he got tested and popped for banned substance, right? Um, so with that said, Conor Ben fought against Pete Dobson in Las Vegas this past Saturday. He won a unanimous decision, but he was, um, he looked vulnerable and the fight was at 150. After the fight, he called out five fighters, not including Javante Tank Davis. He called out Devin Haney. He called out Chris Eubanks. Errol Spence, Kel Brook, and Mario Barrios. Then Javante Tank Davis voluntarily threw his hat in the ring and said he wanted to fight Conor Ben, and they've been negotiating ever since. So it said that it's a three-fight deal from Eddie Hearn because Eddie Hearn contacted Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis revealed that he did contact him, and he stated that, you know, uh, do you want to fight Conor Ben? And Javante Tank Davis said yes, and what are we doing then him and Conor Ben went back and forth, let it be known in the negotiating. So Conor Ben is on this deal. Then it said that the second fight on the deal would be his biggest rival, his biggest nemesis, the guy that Conor Ben called out first, and Devin the Dream Haney, who was undefeated, two division world champion, undisputed lightweight world champion, but now the reigning WBC junior welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney, right? who has 31 wins, no loss, no draw, 15 wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, five for nine with a 72 inch arm reach. And then the third fight would be at Wembley Stadium against Campbell Hatton, who is the son of a legend in the UK, Hall of Famer, Ricky Hatton at Wembley Stadium, right? So should he beat Conor Ben and should he beat um, Devin Haney he would fight Campbell Hatton at Wembley Stadium, right? Which is the the Madison Square Garden is the mecca of the United Kingdom boxing, right? Uh, Matt Campbell Hatton is 14 wins, no losses, no draws, five wins by way of knockout, 
23 years of age, five foot six with a 66 inch arm reach, right? So he's not a big guy. He has a fight coming up March 23rd against James Flint. Um, and so that's the report that Javante Tane Davis has received that three fight deal. Uh, now, I, again, I don't know how true this is. It said, it said that this report came from uh, Dan Raphael. I didn't see where Dan Raphael reported this. Um, I do know that Javante Tane Davis is in negotiations with serious negotiations to fight Conor Ben. Uh, now, everybody wondered why isn't he fighting Devin Haney if he gonna fight Conor Ben, who they complained that Javante Tank Davis is too small to fight Devin Haney, but Conor Ben is bigger than Devin Haney. That makes no sense. So, Conor Ben is a big deal in the United Kingdom. Uh, and he has a hearing coming up in a few weeks. So it's said that he's gonna go to this hearing and after the hearing, uh, you know, he should get approved to get his license back and Javante Tank Davis fight opens up in the UK, which is ironic because Javante Tank Davis has reportedly been linked to a fight last week before this all came about to a fight in the UK to which Many people said Javante Tank Davis gonna fight in the UK in the summer. And then people was trying to, there was boxing platforms that said, this is not true. Javante Tank Davis gonna fight in the spring in Las Vegas. And Javante Tank Davis himself responded to that and said, who told you that? If I'm not fighting in the UK, then where am I fighting since you know everything? Alluding to he's going to be fighting in the UK. Now suddenly the Conor Ben fight presents itself and he's steadfast on making the fight. And within a few days, they got to the point where Al Heyman has a contract in hand. Al Heyman is the PBC premier boxing champion, founding advisor and advisor to Javante Tank Davis. He has a contract in hand that he's mulling over for a fight with Javante Tank Davis and Conor Ben that quick. Conor Ben fought on Saturday. And on Tuesday, Al Heyman had a contract to fight for Javante Tank Davis to fight Conor Ben. There was no runaround. There was no misdirections. There was no saying you don't know who to get in contact with. There's no problems with it. Immediately it happened like this? I don't think so. I think not. I think that this was already brewing behind the scenes. This was already a possibility. And what you saw is promotion. I, that's what I believe. What you saw is promotion. Right? And so now he's going to fight against Conor Ben, possibly. What's interesting is what weight? Because Conor Ben fights at 147 and his last two fights was at 150. But Javante Tank Davis is on record himself saying he wasn't even comfortable with the one fight he had at 140 against Mario Barrios. Hence the reason why he went back down to 35. Now he's going to jump past 140 and fight Conor Ben? Is he using it as a barometer to understand and gauge what Devin Haney could bring to the ring, that size and strength and athletic ability? The three-fight deal, I'm interested to see. If he does a three-fight deal with Matchroom and Eddie Hearn, that's going to be on the zone. What about him fighting on Amazon Prime? With Al Heyman, I thought he had to fight on Amazon Prime with Al Heyman. Or maybe it's just a deal just to fight those fighters. And they're going to do a joint network. Because the problem is, according to reports, Al Heyman's new deal with Amazon is not, um, they're not giving them a budget. It's simply a distribution deal. They're going to air the fights. But Steven Espinosa, who's now still was the Showtime president of sports, and still with Al Heyman stated that they will be a budget. But how much of the budget is the question. So with that said, uh, we have to see what type of deal this is. Uh, and I don't see Eddie Hearn doing a deal offering up these three fighters and not being able to benefit off of it. 
period. So it's interesting. I haven't seen where Dan Raphael reported it, but according to reports, Dan Raphael did, according to this report. Now, I don't know about that, but I do know that a contract has been sent for uh, him to fight against Conor Ben, and, and Al Heyman is looking over the contract sent from um, Eddie Hearn and, and Matchroom and the zone. The zone even confirmed this. They went on their website and it said contract has been sent. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. So all I got for y'all, I'm gone. Peace.